Hello, welcome to Megar's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will discuss turns ratio and winding resistance measurement using the MWA 300 series winding analyzer. Let's get started. The Megar MWA transformer winding analyzer is an advanced three-phase transformer test system that provides complete ratio, phase, and winding resistance measurements for a three-phase transformer. All ratio and winding resistance tests are performed in one instrument with only one three-phase lead set connection. The MWA utilizes PowerDB as a single software platform, saving the user additional time with only one setup and one easy-to-use test form. The MWA series has two interface options. First is the MWA 300, that is a black box style package. It is remote controlled by running PowerDB software on an external laptop PC. The second option is the MWA 330A, equipped with an internal computer providing a 12 inch color display with a touch screen interface. This interface is designed to run PowerDB software and can be used to perform tests instead of an external PC. Test results can be transferred via USB. This built-in display protects against accidental shutdown of the instrument by safely turning off the operating system together with PowerDB. This safe shutdown prevents damage to the internal memory and to the software operating system. Let's look at the MWA panel controls. First, you have the primary or H cable receptacle for connecting test leads to the high voltage winding of a transformer. Next, you have the secondary or X cable receptacle for connecting test leads to the low voltage winding of the transformer. Further, you have the discharge LED to the left that flashes after a test to indicate stored energy in the winding is being dissipated. The charge LED to the right flashes at the beginning of the test to indicate the winding is being energized. Next, you have the high voltage strobe input connector to have visible indication of the test voltage or test current that is being applied. Then you have the safety interlock input that is used when there is requirement for additional safety while testing a transformer. Further, you have the ground lug to allow connection to the set to station earth. Further, you have the PC input for USB host for PC control connection of the MWA. The toggle switch is used to select external as well as internal control of the instrument. So when the onboard touchscreen is used, the internal PC has to be selected using the toggle switch. However, if an external laptop computer is used to control the MWA, the external PC position has to be selected. Next, you have the power input receptacle that has the on-off switch and the mains fuse holder. At the front of the MWA, there are additional panel indications. First is the voltage on light to indicate AC test voltage or DC test current is being applied to the transformer. Next is the test mode indicator to indicate which test state the MWA instrument is in either MTO or TTR. Next is the built-in printer which is designed to print individual results and is active within the PowerDB form via the print icon. Further, you have USB ports for functions such as external memory and external mouse or keyboard control. Then you have the rare USB ports used for external mega instrument such as Delta 4000 power factor test set or the S1 insulation tester. Finally, you have the rare Ethernet port that is used to control the instrument with the Delta 4000 power factor test set. Looking at the turns ratio specifications for the MWA, it has three voltage levels at 8 volts, 40 volts, and 80 volts AC. Looking at the excitation current and phase angle specifications, the MWA can provide excitation current up to 500 milliamps with three digit resolution. And as far as phase angle, it can provide 
a plus minus 90 degree up to two decimal points with an accuracy of plus minus three minutes. Looking at the winding resistance specifications of the MWA, it has a resistance measurement of 10 micro ohms to 2000 ohms. It has a test current range from 10 milliamps to 10 amps. It has an open circuit voltage of 40 volts DC and has a measurement voltage of 20 volts DC. More information on the MWA can be found on the MEGAR website us.megar.com. This concludes turns ratio and winding resistance measurement using the MWA 300 series winding analyzer. Visit the MEGAR YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews, and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any support you may need for your electrical testing.